is today just shots don't go in it doesn't matter pretty much pretty much we've been talking a lot about our turnovers and we had 13 tonight which is more than fine more than fine uh we were moving the ball getting really quality looks and we didn't make them we were seven for 32 from three um so the, we were climbing uphill most of the game because of um, because of that. But you know, creating good shots for our teammates, um, executing the way that we wanted to execute, did a lot better. We had some layups that we missed. We again missed ten free throws. So uh, yeah, I, I wasn't at all disappointed in the way that we play and the way that we fought and the way that we executed. We just um, didn't make didn't make enough shots tonight. How come the free throw shooting isn't converting from practice to game? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know how else to like articulate that the free throws are like a hard thing to kind of coach because it's very mental. It's very mental. And the more pressure you put on yourself to do something at times, the harder it is to do it. Um, I made the analogy the other day of a baseball player who's in like a slump and, you know, they grab the bat and then the more you try to hit the pitch, like the more effort you put into it, the more tight you are, the more, the harder it is. So, um, we're just going to have to get through it. We're going to have to keep attacking because we're attacking. We're getting to the free throw line, I think, more than anybody else in the league. Um, we just got to stay with it, stay at it, stay positive, and um, step up to the line and, and make them. Is it easier to build off a game like this because, like you said, you got the shots that you wanted. You just finished them going. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's easier to kind of digest it um, as far as growth with our group and, and – um, the disappointment that you have from other games as far as our execution and, um, you know, the things that we need to get better at, we did tonight. But again, the turnovers have been a huge, huge issue. And 13 for us is a good number. And the shot quality I thought was good. We had good shot quality tonight. So, yeah, it is easier to, to kind of build and show them that, there is a recipe for our success. We just got to uh, stay with it. Coach, can you talk about the level of frustration y'all felt with the referees tonight? Uh, no, I don't really <laughs> want to talk about that. <laughs> Coach, it seems, it, seems like, it seems like Dylan Gray always puts it in the flow of the game, but there are obviously times when he can be more aggressive. How do you get that out of him? Yeah, I mean, so he saw something new tonight, a uh, different kind of coverage that when he was in pick and roll, they were very, very aggressive. And early in the game, he was turning it over. Later in the game, he was making the right decisions. So um, that's another growth point. That's another, they were very attentive to him and he's gonna see that. Um, it's just, he needs to learn from these moments and, and uh, continue to grow. But as far as his aggressiveness, I, I'm, I always want him to be aggressive and I keep, you know, keep on him about staying aggressive. That's probably the thing I tell him the most. Were you surprised at how up they were playing on him? Uh, not really. I mean, they've been kind of up and back depending on who they play. So uh, we, we knew, we had watched enough film to know that there will be times where they're very far up and playing the pick and roll kind of like how we try to play it and having a low man. Um, but then other teams like the Phoenix game, they were all the way back. So. We knew they had two coverages and we told the group. When they're doing that, teams do, do you, you want Christian and, and Daniel Tice take, spreading the floor and taking threes as they did tonight? That is the, is that the correct adjustment or response to that? I mean, getting, having a quick decision is the correct response to that. So whether it's getting it out, if they pick up the roll man and getting it to an open shooter, um, that's the correct uh, response or hitting the roller quickly and letting the roller make plays. I think you saw that when Alpi was in the game, we were hitting the roller and letting him make plays. Um, when we had other rollers, they were a little bit more attentive and we were rolling a little bit harder. So 
it's easier to find the uh, the three point shooters. And we were staying in the middle of the floor with our pick and rolls. And one of the plays that we had led us to good looks from the top from our opposite big. And uh, we just, you know, they were good shots from good shooters. We just didn't make them. 